Hi, I'm Scott Greenwald from JumaDirect.com. This video is part three in our series on Akiba Backup. In this video, I'll be showing you how to restore your site using Akiba Kickstart. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I wanted to show you this brand new site that I've been working on. Check it out. What's this? Oh no, I've been hacked. Oh man, well, lucky for us, we've been using Akiba Backup to make backups of our site, so restoring it shouldn't be any problem, right? All right, so uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is go over to akibabackup.com, go ahead to the uh, Akiba Kickstart page, which looks like this, and first download the Akiba Kickstart file. And here we go, Kickstart Core. And it's also a good idea to download the uh, documentation in PDF to refer to. There's some good stuff in there in case you get stuck. Okay, so first things first, um, Akiba Kickstart is not a Joomla extension. In other words, you don't install it on your Joomla site. Uh, you actually just upload the files to the root uh, directory of, of where you want to restore your, your Joomla site to. Okay, so uh, first go ahead and unzip the file. And you'll notice a ton of files in here. Now most of these are just translation files, so uh, the only files that we're going to upload are kickstart.php and whichever language that you want to uh, that you're using so we're going to do English okay so first uh, this site is a live site um, I'm hosting it on SiteGround and I'm going to restore the uh, the site to the same exact location um, so if you want to restore it to a different location like a subdirectory or subfolder you would upload the uh, the Akiba files, the Kickstart files to that location. Okay, now I'm inside of my uh, my hosting account inside of the file manager. So my site, my Joomla site is inside of public HTML. And uh, let's go ahead and upload the uh, Akiba Kickstart files. So first we'll upload kickstart.php. <coughs> And next we will upload the language file. And the last thing we need is the Akiba backup file. So if you've been uh, downloading your, your Akiba backups to, uh, to your local computer or even storing them somewhere else, you're, you're going to uh, need to put them into the same directory as, as the uh, that we just uploaded a Kiba or Kickstart to. Okay, so uh, for this example um, I've just been keeping the uh, the copies on my server so by default they're going to be inside of uh, administrator components com Akiba backup and this is the backup that I want to restore this one was taken today so I'll just drag this over to public HTML. All right, so now we can start the uh, the restoration process using Akiba Kickstart. So just open the Kickstart file, which will be kickstart.php. com slash kickstart.php. All right, here we go. We have a little intro message. Go ahead and read that. It just explains uh, what Akiba Kickstart is, what it isn't, what it'll do, what it won't do, etc. Okay, um, so it's going to find the uh, the uh, the archives, the JPA files that are in your uh, the same directory as the uh, the Kickstart.php. So we've only we only put one file in there, which is this one. We don't need to worry about that. This is uh, if you're using a secure JPS files, um, you'd enter a password here. Okay, write to files directly. 
Okay, most of this stuff you can just leave as the defaults, and we'll go ahead and press start. <clears throat> All right, so uh, if that was successful, you'll get to this screen, and you'll just run the installer. And this will take you through a series of steps. Um, it's pretty straightforward from here, so um, everything looks fine. So we'll just go ahead and uh, press next. But if you do have any problems, just you know exactly what it says here. Click here for troubleshooting instructions, and it'll take you to uh, the documentation. You'll just go from there. Every server is configured differently, so you may uh, you may have some problems, but uh, for the most part, you should be okay. All right, so this it's going to mirror um, your your site your uh, configuration settings that you had set up on your Joomla site. So these fields should you should be able to just leave them as is, um, except for this. For some reason, it's selecting MySQL. My I happen to know for a fact my uh, database is a MySQL I. Okay, but it sh it shouldn't matter if you choose the wrong one. Okay, um, everything else looks okay. In this next step, we'll just confirm our site info. Uh, this is just you know from the Joomla administrator. Um, and since we're restoring the site to the same location, the root folder of our uh, of our server, the temporary directory and the logs directory are going to be the same. If you're restoring the site to a different location, like a subfolder or even locally to your local host, you'll want to change these to match the uh, the location. All right, and that's it. We're at the last step, so uh, you can just press the uh, remove the installation directory right here, or you can go back to the first uh, window and press clean up. Basically, it'll just remove the kickstart.php and the uh, language file that we uploaded, and we should be all set. So let's take a look at the front end. All right, our our hacked message is gone. We're back to our our regular site. And that is it. The process is really straightforward. Uh, once again, if you do have any problems whatsoever, refer to that PDF documentation. There's a lot of good info in there. And uh, that's about it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching this series. Go ahead and check out the two other videos if you need help on uh, setting up Akiba and also for uh, configuring automated backups of your site. And make sure to subscribe to Joomla Direct for more beginner tutorials. We'll see you next time. Thank you.